Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome back to Polybridge 3. Now, before we continue the campaign, getting our top 1% scores, we're going to head into the weeklies because there's a brand new weekly called Jagged. The budget is all the threes. Oh, a bit worrying. There are hydraulics available. Although, <laughs> looking at this graph, most people got this for very, very, very cheap. So it could be easy. Now, the description is, uh-oh, someone messed up when making these roads. Let's press... Okay, I see the trouble here. This is a classic architecturally designed bridge. They've probably been like, oh, we want it to mimic the heart rate of a human so that people feel relaxed when walking across. You can't walk across it because it's vertical bits of road, you silly architects. Anyway, if we press play, you can see, oh dear, that is what happens. So we need to use these materials to try and fix this. Now, the trouble is we have no road. Uh, oh, we do. We do have joints. Let me just see if I were to like joint both of those. Does it just it just drops down, doesn't break? OK, I imagine that will be used in the cheap solutions. Uh, but for now, let's try and work out how we can actually make something out of this. I'm sort of thinking if I if I drop that bit down, perhaps we can do something like that. OK, we we have a bit of a bridge. I'm already like double the cheapest solutions. The cheap solutions must be like some crazy cheese. Like, I don't know. You can't actually change the tension of this. I was thinking maybe it was a spring cannon. Maybe it's just like a few hydraulic either side of this and crush it. Maybe it goes flying or something. Don't know. I should be focusing on trying to actually make this work though. So let's drop between there and there. Then we'll support that underneath. I tell you what, I tell you what, I've got I got quite an engineering way to do this, I think. Steel arch over the top. Yes, this is this is how I'm gonna do this. This is the way. And then some bits of the bridge I can pull up and across. Like, oh my goodness. Okay, that's that was a bit of force there. Okay, so I've come up with this so far. So basically, everything falls apart from this bit of bridge, which potentially, yeah, if I... If I do a hydraulic from down there up this way, wang a spring there, then hopefully... Oh, no, it rolled. It rolled on itself. Okay, we'll move this one over to that node just so it's a bit more to the right. I mean, it's a little bit low at that end. It's, <laughs> it's getting across, though. Oh, I'll tell you what, it is not far off. If I swap that spring for another hydraulic, that will lift up this side even higher. Oh, look how close that is. Okay, so it didn't quite work at the end. We, we just... We just disintegrate into nothing. I think I can probably get rid of those. Hold it there instead, which means lose that bit, keep that bit. And then rather than having a joint there, I'll have a joint there because then I can I can lift this end up. So lifting this end up works. Rest of the bridge, not so much. However, something like that, it's so dangly. Oh, it nearly works. It actually nearly works. I feel like though, maybe I can get away with doing it from up here. So let's see. I mean, there is a bit of a gap. It might be a... Okay, it's not a gate. Oh, there we go. There we go. I just added some more springs down the middle. That actually looks decent. Yes. Yes. Oh, but I've just noticed we're over budget. If we watch with the stress on those, surely... Yeah, surely I can make some of these wood again in the middle. Under budget. Only just though. <laughs> Oh, man, I'm so bad at, like, the weekly challenges. People did this for £1,000. Let's have a look in the gallery. Sort by lowest budget. Okay, 1700 quid. What? They just dangly roaded it. You can't do that. <laughs> oh, it's driving upside down. That's quite cool. So another cheap version. Oh, it starts off like... Oh, okay. So yeah, it just turns into a dangly road. That was the key to this. So, oh, look, a cheap one. A cheap one that says RCE. This is like one of the like cheapest ones. And it's still got RCE propaganda. That is commitment to the cause. Rastazd, fair play. So yeah, lots of different ways of doing this one. <laughs> They're all so cheap. Mine was 10 times more expensive than that. Um, so let's have a look at the highest budget. Mine's probably like up this end. So we got this one by Kiev. Oh, no way. That's a nice little watch. That's completely on budget as well. This one with what is that? Oh, they've made a no way. They made a swing. I feel so dumb when I play this game. <laughs> People are too good. So this one. Okay, this one actually... Is that my design? <laughs> you got like the dodgy steel arch and then just using cable and hydraulics to try and make it work. Well, actually, this one's a bit more like mine. I mean, the, the arch is a lot more filthy, but they've used a lot more springs and hydraulics. The combo that I used, uh, there's just like a front flip though. So style points for them. Wow, a giant swing. That looks absolute carnage. I love it. <laughs> 
Oh, dear. All right, then we got... Oh, yes. No, no, no not, not yes. I, I meant no. That's too much. That's too much, friend. <laughs> All right, so this one looks... Oh, I was going to say it looks a bit of a mess. But when everything drops, it's a flat road. That's, look how many hydraulics are in there. The precision this guy must... I can't even finish sentences. There's... <laughs> There's no words. All right, this one. RC pet for Paddy. I'll give him a pet. All right, this one. Oh, a new form of propaganda. What does that say? Drink nifty. Let's just go to the next one. See the high RC. Hello. But then let's go back. Yeah, drink nifty. You heard it here first, guys. You gotta drink nifty. Oh, more RC propaganda. And what is going on at the bottom? He made a flat road. People are too clever. Like, look at the how? How do people do that? Right, well, anyway, let's get back into the campaign. This is the final level of the Serene Cyclades. And remember, we're trying to do every single level in this world at top 1%. Hopefully, this one won't be hard. It is the last level, though. It's called Bite Size, and it's a blooming massive bridge. And not only that, we've got to get to the other side, a roller. Now, these are designed to crush roads, so this could be difficult. Now, my first thoughts are time to return to an arch so i don't know potentially we'd get away with that if we just boosh the roads into place and then maybe just maybe we can trust this up i could go underneath with the wall braces i could go on top let's try let's try underneath for now okay it holds it actually holds. Is it going to hold the roller? Oh, boy. I'll tell you what, I didn't do a bad job, though. If I get rid of that, I can probably just replace that with steel. Do the same on this side. You can see the stress. There's... Well, there's a lot of stress. Yeah, so these aren't doing too well. So I may need to add some steel under there. Oh, I'll tell you what, though. I'll tell you what. That is not actually that bad. All right, so that bit of road broke. So I may just need to make these triangles a little bit bigger. All right, how's that? Oh, it's that bit of road. Yeah, I just wonder, if I were to put steel underneath, will that make the road stronger? I mean, technically, it could... I'm not sure it will, though. No, it didn't. So perhaps I want to just, like, truss on top here just to make that a bit stronger. I may need to do the same down the middle, but let's just see if this will work. So, yeah, it was stronger, and then the next one went. So I think we're just going to have to truss this and do something like that. Budget's crept off a bit. We've got 128 grand to play with. We've only used 46. Oh, it's high. It went up to 98%. We're coming back down the other side, though. I think we've done it. Okay, that is... That is a hell of a bridge. That is a hell of a bridge. <laughs> yeah, let's see where we are on the leaderboard. Oh, look at that. Top 2% on my first try. We're 160th in the world. Yeah, and we haven't even started shaving yet. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to shave this. And for you guys, it's a very special engineering time. Boom, 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 boom. Santa Paddy to slip a plushie under the tree for me. Boom, boom. Gotta order it now for Christmas delivery. So hurry and buy one tonight. Alright, so this is where I got to. Hopefully you liked my uh, Christmas rendition. If we hit 2 million subs before Christmas, I will release a full Christmas covers album. No, God, please, no, no. Yeah, but anyway, this is as far far as I've got. And honestly, I've tried so many different things. I don't think I can get this bridge cheaper. So if we watch this and turn the stress on, basically we go up a very, very steep arch. I found going steeper was better. I still had to put these little braces in. Yeah, they're on both sides. Otherwise the, the road just snaps there and I can't get the road any stronger. I've tried, I've tried pretty much everything. So 42,348 quid. Oh, no way. We're in the top 1%. I just, oh, I literally just tweaked a node like a second ago just before I like pressed play on that replay and I was top 2% beforehand. I did it. Top 1%. Oh, I'm so happy now. I thought that was going to be a failure for the last level. Always trust the engineer. Anyway, let's get in the gallery and see why it was so hard to... Ah, uh, there we go. Everyone on the first page completely cheesed it. And because so many people cheesed it, it was so hard to get into the top 1%. But yeah, just look at that. It's just... Disgusting. Makes me want to vom. Uh, although this one, they included RC propaganda for 23 grand. Fair play. That's the only type of cheese I will allow if it's got RC propaganda in. Anyway, let's have a look at the first bridge that isn't cheese. I mean, is that cheese? It's like, it's an RGB bridge. <laughs> 
Did Linus Tech Tips make this one? Uh, so yeah, a couple of bananas. I didn't think about doing bananas. I could have saved myself 10 grand. And then, oh, look, the cheapest arch. And it's, what? How did they do that? That's like four grand cheaper than mine. It's got no, it's got no supporting nodes like up there. Honestly, I tried everything. I don't know how, how they achieved that, if I'm honest. But fair play, Will. You're definitely a pro. No way. What? Alan did it. Alan? Alan! Alan did it for 38 grand. I can't believe that. Oh, look at this arch. What? Everyone did it. Everyone did like arches without like the middle support. How? I thought I was going to be like the only non-cheese solution. Uh, this one. Oh, it does have like the added stuff, but they're sort of like built into the truss. There's a few where it goes over the top. That's a very flat arch as well. And then we get to the ones that are more expensive than mine. So there's going to be lots of like different ways of doing this. There's also going to be a lot of arches, but yeah, like under trusses. We've got the tension bridges, the spider web trusses. Oh, that could have been made by my alt. But yeah, anyway, let's head to the highest end of the budget. My favorite place. Let's have, what is that? <laughs> what is that? I mean, it works. I cannot I cannot argue with you. It definitely works. 539 grand though. This one. Schwat. Schwat. Oh, oh schwat. Oh schwat. Either way, not RC propaganda. Get that off my screen. Hey, what's all this? Anyway, that's the propaganda we can get behind. <laughs> The RCE propaganda and then like a maraca. You go. More RCE propaganda with a bit of a cable stayed bridge. We got this beautiful. What just? Someone just fell off the end of it. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice bridge. Look, it's a nice. Oh, RCE. No, uh, oh. Okay, not entirely sure what to say about that one. It's it's not by Alan either. All right, this one very. <laughs> Very strong support peers there. They've really used engineering first-hand principles. And then this one, they haven't really used those principles. Same sort of concept, but like, yeah, their username says it all, really. And then we got this. Oh my goodness, the size of that propaganda. Oh, look at this. Like an inverted suspension arch. Oh my goodness. I quite like that. More RC propaganda and a shovel with like a really fat handle. Uh, oh, that's like one of those pencils. You can see it's got a rubber on the end of it. It's got like the grippy things. So you can like grip so it doesn't like slip through your hand as easy. Engineering pencils, we call those. Uh, more RC. Oh, lots of RC propaganda there. Nice little trust arch there. Uh, bit of a mess on your bridge there, but you got the RC propaganda in. Oh, exclamation mark. That's what we like to see. Oh, is that a dragon? They've put a dragon under their bridge. Whoa. And then there he is, Alan. Alan! Now this one, what happens here? It goes all the way up there and then drops down. Who could have possibly created this monstrosity? Oh, it's the Nifty Sponsored Solution. Nifty, a solution of tea that is sponsored every video and it tastes nice and stuff. Warning, Nifty does not actually sponsor every video and may not taste nice. I don't know. What is that? <laughs> Should that be... Hang on, let's, let's replay it. Should that be my new shirt logo? Would you guys buy merch if that was on a shirt? Let me know. <laughs> wow, the state of that trust. <laughs> the state of it. Anyway, we've had far too much fun. Oh, look, there was an RCE trailer, but it fell off. Yeah, we've had a lot of fun. We are definitely a top 1% player, but I think it's time to exit to the campaign menu and decide where we're going next. We did start the spring levels, though. Pretty, pretty tricky, if I'm honest. We've also got the radical meltdown level with custom shapes. And then down here, we've unlocked four sheep difficulty. And one is a hydraulic level. That is going to break me. Uh, I think I should probably carry on going in order. Desert Springs, level four cushion. So let's build. What have we got? Up there, we've got something pre-built that we can't change at all. So what happens? You drive up, boost into that, then fall down. Okay, we've got to make a sort of ramp so we can get him over to the flag. And I imagine we're going to want to use springs as this is a spring level. I do wonder whether I could just get away with doing something like that. Just really try and ping pong it. I mean, it almost lands down there. And if I could just shove like something like that down, it might keep its feet dry. Okay, a little bit, little bit short. All right, so I've come up with something like that to catch it. I'm pretty sure we land on our wheels so we can then just sort of build like bridge over to there probably just out of wood like if i oh if i can get that to rest that could work okay so it falls down does that drives up oh the wood broke you break what if i just move that down a bit it's still breaking let's upgrade to a bit of road in there road is stronger than wood not as expensive as steel nice we've done it uh, 22 grand budget we had we did it for 9330 oh, we're in the top seven percent with a first try let's have a go then and see how much cheaper we could get this because i think that jump at the end could be greatly reduced as long as we got the 
speed. Oh, we got loads of speed. I'll tell you what, could I get away with like not using that end piece? I know it's a steep ramp. Okay, no. Okay, but we're down to that. So we're under nine grand now. That puts us in the top 6%, 646. I don't actually need to aim for top 1%, to be honest. But let's just see. I reckon I can make those springs smaller. Do a little triangle like that. And then replace with one spring, perhaps. It might change everything. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, I probably should have messed with this end first. Because that's going to have an adverse effect on the rest of the bridge. I wonder, can I make those shorter? I mean, where do we actually land on that bit of road? Can I make that road? Probably make that road a lot shorter. Not that short. All right, so I've got the bottom trimmed down to that. I mean, I could probably go slightly left. It saves a couple of quid. The main thing I need to try and trim is the first bit. No, that's no good. Or is it? Is it? I mean, it didn't get wet, but it didn't get to the flag. But yeah, is there anything I can do up here just to make this cheaper? Maybe just make it a bit shorter. Lower that a bit. We're now under eight grand. Oh, but no, changing this, changing that ruins everything. I'll tell you what, I think I'll leave my solution like that for now. We're not aiming for top 1% anymore. Been there, done that. We're in the top 4%, 449. As long as we beat Tyler, yeah, absolutely annihilated him. So let's head into the gallery. And before we do actually look through the gallery, uh, I'll sort by lowest budget first. Uh, I have switched mid video from my mic being on the left side of my mouth to the right side of my mouth. So hopefully my audio doesn't sound any different now than it did at the start of the video. It's weird. Like my whole YouTube career, I've been I've been hanging to the left, but uh, now I'm a hang to the right sort of guy. It's a big change. I'm not sure I'm used to it. Anyway, let's have a look. Cheapest solution, two grand. What is that? Wow. Wow. That's so cheap. So we just got two springs and a dangly bit of road. And then it lands on a bit of road. Can you see like the angle of the road? Because it's bent up, it means you don't actually need any truss to support it. That's insane. And it seems everyone else has the same design. Now that is the trouble when you come up with a cheap design. Everyone copies it. Right, what have we got here? We've got a bit of road hanging between two springs. And similar setup there. There is there is a truss underneath there though. Now this one, oh, is it all bridge? There's nothing on the right side. Whoa, no way, fair play. <laughs> so yeah, lots of different ways of solving this one. Let's see if people spent their money efficiently this time. So we've got the RCE propaganda. Oh, a wheelie for style points at the end there. This one. <laughs> this one. Guess who it is? It's Alan. Uh, what is going on there? Is that just... Oh, it's just a platform. Fair play. I mean, well, not fair play. It costs 44 grand. What is... What is that? Is it going to actually drive... Oh, it doesn't look... Oh, man. Boxic. That's insane. Hey, RCE propaganda. Nice. Oh, and strongest shape principles. Is it going to fall? It's going to tilt forwards. That's so cool. You thought that down there was just part of the aesthetic. No, that is engineering to the max. Well done, my Dixie. Let's not finish that. Right, this one. We got spring steps. <laughs> Look at this. Boing, 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 boing. Man, I wonder how like a slinky would work on spring steps. It'd be like slingception. We got hi RC, hi Dennis. Don't know why he added a rocket ship to his thing. And this, oh look, there's an upside down snail on the wall down there. That's weird. Anyway, we're on to the next level. It's called flex gap. While springs are flexible, road is not. Try leaving gaps in the road to allow it to move and flex. Okay, so we've got to get this guy over to there. Oh, there's a star underneath though. So I think the game wants us to put a spring in there. And then that's just gonna... Yeah, that just that just broke. Uh, we do have one bit of road we can use, by the way. I reckon doing something like that. We are just... We're encouraging dangly roads here, devs. What are you doing? What are you doing? If we put two little trusses on top, that could work yeah it does work okay we did it for 3800 we had 19 grand budget there i'll tell you what i got a new challenge for tyler half budget of tyler's every single time easy mate easy sorry i'm getting i'm getting a little bit carried away where are we <laughs> We're top 9% in the world. I imagine this level is just going to be extremely dangly bridge. Um, how can I make these cheaper? Just going to back there. So we'll try that. Oh, no. They, they are not stronger going back there. But that works. Oh, no, it doesn't work. Oh, you got my hopes up, game. That does work. 3,693. Top 8%. I feel like, honestly, these are all going to be super cheese. Although maybe not. Maybe maybe I'm just being snobbish. Let's have a look at what we got. So this is the cheapest solution. Oh, look. They 
they reinforced the road with wood so that it would that was a very rhymy sentence there so that it it wouldn't snap so has everyone done that so i mean fair play some of these they're quite interesting how people have done that that's like wooden cable going on i think there's going to be a lot of wooden cable ones or a lot of reinforcing roads yeah everyone's sort of done the same thing i'm surprised like how much spring there's going on in there yeah lots of people using that extra bit of road interesting that one's quite cool actually although it is dangling road. i'm not sure if i like the dangle of the road but oh look at that that's quite they like the trusses i did but they added springs there and basically by doing that it means you don't need the supports i had which added a lot to the to the price oh no wait that's like a tension wood bridge no way fair play <laughs> okay i'm quite liking i'm quite liking these me so is that the world's smallest rce propaganda just to stay like way up the leaderboard 2700 quid and rce propaganda that is using engineering with the highest of priorities let's have a look at people that didn't care about budget and their rce propaganda <laughs> look at that this one oh look at that alan yes alan i like that i do think though the the exoskeleton you put on your vehicles. I don't really get why it's got a big chimney. Maybe that's to funnel the exhausts away so it can go like under underwater. I'm not sure. Anyway, appreciate the RC propaganda once again. This one, five times better in their RC propaganda. I will say that. Look at the springage underneath. This one, oh wow. Look at that arch. It's so tall. And the road just dangles from the cables underneath. The wooden cables there. This one, very flexible. A lot of trussage going on. This one, Aliens Rock. Uh, this guy just really likes aliens. That's a weird thing to add to a video replay. Uh, what is that? What is that? <laughs> that was quite cool. We got springy solutions. Sort of trussy springy solutions then look at this one like there's so much mustelage going on i guess they didn't want to use springs at all fair play anyway the next level is called collapsing column oh dear so if we press play aha uh -huh. did you see that column down there it collapsed oh really so what is it that piece so oh it just slides off i mean i do wonder could i stitch it together i mean we've got the building box so i can't go into that dark area if I were to put that there, or oh, actually, does this... Oh, this doesn't collide with roads. You see that? It collides with vehicles and roads. The thing beneath only collides with vehicles. Okay, so we can't stop that falling off. Um, what I'm thinking, though, I might embrace the police car falling. And it sort of does a forward roll there. I wonder, like, would that be in the right place? Oh, potentially. Now, I don't think up here collides with road. No, it doesn't. So I'm going to have to, like, tell you what, if I truss underneath like that and then just try and support that with springs, perhaps something like that. Oh, it slides down. It slides down. Okay, how do I stop it sliding? I mean, for now, that could work. So forward roll lands on there. Has it got the power? Oh, I'm not sure it's going to make the gap. Oh, it's not going to make the gap. The springs were too springy. No, but I guess if I just try and raise like the roads up, sort of make it a bit longer as well. And hopefully it's... Oh, no. It's too steep. Okay, I may need to add another bit of road. That's very annoying. All right, if we try that... Though... Oh, no. Okay, raise... Raise these up a little bit. It's just got to get to a point where it can get over that. Yes. Oh, come on. That's the world's smallest speed hump. No, wait. It is going. It is going. If I speed up, it's going. Oh, but now it's stuck. Yeah, now it's legit stuck. Ugh. What if I just bounce that up a little bit? Yes. Yes. But then... Yes, we did it. We did it for 10 grand. The, the budget is 46 grand. We're in the top 3% straight away. Oh, and did we do the thing that we always do? We beat Tyler half his budget again. And I haven't even trimmed this, really. I mean, I probably don't need two ropes there, do I? Okay, maybe I did. Yeah, I'll tell you what, 259th, top 3%. Let's have a look in the gallery. Intrigued to see how cheap people actually did this one. Five grand, six grand. So, oh, it's basically what I did. But look, no springs at all. That is thinking like a mere engineer. So, yeah, basically all of these are the same. Oh, mini RC propaganda again. Fair play, Razdazd. They know how to impress an engineer. Right, all of these are basically the same. And then we get onto the ones that you springs which cost a bit more like mine but yeah cool highest budget <laughs> Alan. 
Oh, Alan. Now, the next highest budget, we got RC Propaganda, but then... Oh, look at this. It curves up. Is that so it can do a drop? Yeah, drop forward roll to the flag. Now, this one, a little step down. Interesting. No springs use that. This one... F this. I guess they really want to fabricate whatever that is. I mean, yeah, sort of understand. This one, a very springy solution by Mr. Potato. But look how much it sags. This one, oh, cable state. Oh, no way. That's sick. All right, so it's cable state bridge. But look, this weight... It pulls the entire bridge up so it sits flat. That's actually incredible. Now, this one, a spring arch. I've only heard about those. Never. Oh, <laughs> the bend on it. This one, does it get bounced down? Yes, that's quite unusual. Yes, there's lots of people like taking the speed off the police car. I guess so it like lands a bit shorter. But yeah, not gonna lie, enjoyed that level. I've, I'm quite enjoying my return to springs. I didn't really get on with the first three for some reason. But yeah, enjoying these, uh, particularly as I'm absolutely annihilating Tyler and I'm not even trying. Anyway, on that note, we'll say peace, love. And I do actually need to do a revenge video against Tyler. Bye!